Yo, how's it going gamers? Chris here today, bringing you guys a brand new video. Today's video guys, we're going to be talking about my impressions for the ranked playlist season 1. So let's get straight on into it. So guys, I'm not going to lie, season 1 for ranked, it's been fun. I really enjoy it. I enjoy the idea because it's something that I've wanted for a while. But there is tons of issues with the playlist itself that makes me very disappointed and they should honestly stop season one because of these issues so let's go about these issues one of the major issues is you cannot play with two people like i've tried and it literally ends the lobby kicks out your partner it used to do it when you had three people when you're trying to party up with three people and it would continue to kick people out of the lobby etc and it still does it right now they need to fix that that's another huge problem another problem is why can we use weapon very like weapon variants like that's not allowed in competitive if you're trying to make a competitive playlist that's not allowed in competitive why are you allowing it ranked it's literally like pubs to the max i don't get that but then the next thing that's really weird in my opinion is right now there is no penalty for leaving people just go in the game they get down by one flag in ctf and they leave they get down by five seconds in hard point they leave people do not care it's literally they start losing and they're out of the lobby they're out of the lobby and it's like you're playing three before and the game's not fun anymore it's not fun and then i'm not gonna you know continue to bash but their process for getting you to grand masters it's awful back in black ops 2 they did it really well it was awesome you know it was like a ladder and you could see the first person on that ladder and you could see the last person on that ladder you move up that ladder and there was different divisions this is more of a gradually like you get points and it's dumb because you get matched against players that are better than you and that are way ahead of you like when you're all the way in bronze and stuff like that and that shouldn't happen you should be playing against people that are in bronze you should be get playing against people that are in silver when you get to silver and stuff like that and then another thing is you can't tell what the other people in your lobby are in if you don't know what i mean by that you can't tell if somebody's in silver if somebody's in bronze etc or if somebody's in masters you can't tell because it's not in the pregame lobby it shows their actual matchmaking level and with that being said, they need to go back to Black Ops 2 days where it is in a separate lobby. Right now, how they're doing it is it is in the public match, you know, lobby. If you would think about it, Black Ops 2, how they did it, you would like go to the side and you hit rank play and it'd like take you to a whole new like side of like multiplayer and then you could put in your own classes you can put in brand new classes that don't mess with your multiplayer classes because it gets really annoying you want to play ranked you have to make your ranked classes different from your public ma matches classes and then when you want to go play public matches you have to change rank classes back to public match classes it gets really tedious gets really annoying very quickly because i mean you, you gotta change it every single time it's like ain't nobody got time for that and stuff like that so that's really annoying in my opinion and i just really feel like they just rushed this even though it's like three months into the game i feel like they just rushed this and obviously they don't want to just they basically just don't want to get a printer and just copy it straight out of black ops 2 but it's like these are good ideas you know these are crazy good ideas that you guys should put in definitely put in like a 15 minute probation for people that leave the game you should definitely take out these weapon variants that you get from freaking supply drops because that's stupid and you should really just add in a separate lobby so my classes that i'm making are not affecting my multiplayer classes you shouldn't allow people to get uavs and it's just it, it's very disappointing season one of rank playlist is awful i'm just gonna go ahead and say it it, it it was poorly developed and they should have thought they should have thought it more through and they should have just been able to take black ops 2's things that they did features that they did good with and convert them to call of the advanced warfare because it's like that they just neglected the good features that black ops 2 made and they're like black ops 2 made it we're not copying it we're gonna leave it over there but i don't know that's just my opinion 
Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, are you guys having fun with rank? Because I'm having fun because it's way better than Ghost. Right now, it's unplayable. I can't even play with friends. And it's like, you play against sweaty noobs that aren't even in your ranked class. Like, that shouldn't happen. You know, this is like, ranked playlist is supposed to be skill-based matchmaking. It's not skill-based matchmaking. It's playing against a fudging four-man party of sweaties. It, it's not skill based matchmaking. If you can go play pubs and you'll get close to skill based matchmaking. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about rank playlist. And as always, it's me, but Chris here, aka Chris the Gamer. I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video. Peace out.